five is a three, but that still doesn't mean it's going to be easy mm -hmm. by right. any means. Yeah, so a lot of people really latch on to that number. And of course, we know that Category 5 hurricanes, they're catastrophic, and so are Category 4s. But this one, even though it's a Category 3, I don't want you to think that that's not, it's meaning that it's not as strong because the impacts are still going to be about the same as what we were expecting. So the wind field itself has been expanding. It's now stretching over a larger area. So we have sustained winds of 120 miles per hour. The wind gusts are up to 150 miles per hour. It's moving northeasterly at about 17 miles per hour. And the latest update showed this about 50 to 60 miles offshore from Sarasota. Now, if we take the view over to the satellite and radar, you can really see this well-defined eye. The strongest part of the storm is the north and northeast side right here, and that's beginning to work its way through Bradenton right now, and it's going to work up toward the Tampa area, but we're likely looking at a landfall that's going to be just south of Tampa, possibly in the Bradenton, Sarasota area, likely as a Category 3, and then it's going to continue to make its way off toward the east, northeast across the state of Florida maintaining that hurricane strength so it's going to be creating a lot of havoc all across the state of Florida and then taking off over the Atlantic tomorrow morning. Let's talk a little bit about the storm surge. So this is one of the biggest concerns with this particular storm just south of Tampa through Bradenton, Sarasota area through Venice, Port Charlotte. That's where we could be seeing 9 to 13 feet of storm surge near the coast. So again, this is being coined as unsurvivable surge and that's that's why there's been mass evacuations out ahead of the system rolling in. High temperatures here at home today. Most of us topped out in the 70s. We only made it to 67 degrees in Waukegan. 72 in Gary, 74 in Aurora, hit 80 in LaSalle. So nice and warm out in the suburbs. The five day forecast here, we're going to be in the lower 70s again tomorrow. And then on Friday, we have that summer like warmth that's going to be here for one day and then cooler air is going to be settling in over the weekend. So we're in the mid to upper 60s Saturday and Sunday by Monday. High temperatures are only going to be in the mid 50s. So a true taste of fall is going to be here early next week. Satellite and radar. Things are quiet for us here at home. We have high pressure and control and we've had nothing but sunshine all week and we're going to keep that going all the way through Friday. Future cast taking us into tomorrow morning. We're likely waking up in the 40s for most areas near 50 degrees in the city through the day tomorrow. We're going to be topping out in the low 70s and then through the day on Friday. We wake up to temperatures that are going to be in the 50s. This cold front that's off to our northwest. That's going to approach the area on Friday, but not move through until Friday night and it's going to be coming through likely rain free. However, once we're on the back side of this, you're going to feel it. That's why our temperatures this weekend are going to be running quite a bit cooler in the 60s. So we go from 80s on Friday to 60s this weekend for tonight. 51 degrees. We'll have easterly winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Most of the suburbs and most inland locations are going to be dropping into the 40s. Your seven day forecast tomorrow 72. Lots of sunshine on Thursday, mostly sunny on Friday. We'll have highs near 83. We're in the 60s then over the weekend. Very small chance for an isolated shower. Temperatures though on Sunday looking fantastic for the Chicago Marathon. Keep it here. We have more local news coming up. Thank you.